the woodland. Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. You know, fellas and girls, the greatest test in our Christian experience is when we come to a crisis point in our lives. We can read the book of Job and all the rest of the scriptures on testing and faith, but they don't have real meaning until we're put to the test. Then the Lord finds out just how much we really believe what we read in his book. Christians around us find out, too, whether we're the salt of the earth or just so much weak tea that soon is washed away. Do we really mean it when we say we trust the Lord no matter what happens? Do we now? Let's get into our story, which we'll look into the point at hand. I like to call it The Crisis. Bill, why is Stumpy lagging behind all the time? I don't know, pal. I've noticed that, too. Now, let's hold up and find out. Okay. Whoa, Storm. Oh, Whoa, man. Boy. Whoa, girl. <laughs> Where'd you get that name, old timer? <laughs> I didn't give this cayuse the name ambitious as a compliment. But there's one thing I can't stand, and that's a speedy horse. He gets there too soon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, what are you fellers lallyganging around for? Let's get going. When we get back from this trip, I'm going to find me an able-bodied two-year-old with some get-up-and-go. Now, let's get going, ambitious. Come on now, boy. Yow! Boy, look at that vicious go! Look out for the branch! Stumpy gets knocked off horse. Come on, let's go. Whoa! Whoa, girl! Whoa! Oh, my Kenogan. Who dropped a mountain on me? What happened? What? My ambitious took off so fast that you didn't see the tree branch in your way, and whammo! <laughs> whammo was right. I never knew there were so many stars. Uh, we take you back to the doctor after you have head bandage up. Doctor? What do I need a doctor for? Well, maybe you have slight concussion. Uh, better to have a doctor take a look and make uh, x-ray. X-ray? No, sir, I ain't going to no doctor. What's so terrible about that? You've been to doctors before and never fought. I ain't going. That's final. Now, bandage up the hole in my head. We'll get back to riding the trail. Bill, you better make him go to a doctor. Let him be, fellas. If he goes now, he'll get so riled up, it won't do much good. And you're sure it's all right to take the risk? I'll assume the responsibility, fellas. Come on, quit yapping and bandage up the hole in my head before my brains leak out to both of them. Special operator, what number are you dialing, please? Excuse me, operator, I made a mistake. I'll try again. Thank you, sir. This is a special operator. What number are you dialing, please? Uh, never mind, operator. There must be something wrong with this phone. I'll try again. What's the matter, old timer? Oh, there's numbering machines on the fritz. Can't seem to get the number I want. Well, maybe you let me try. 
Well, go ahead, help yourself. See if you can do any better. Oh, what's the number? Right, right here on this piece of paper. Oh, I try. Uh, hold the line just a minute. Stumpy, you call garage? Uh, sure. Did you get them? Uh, head on the other end of wire. You take phone now. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah. Hello, Ed. Is that you, Stumpy? Yeah, of course. It's me. Who else? Yeah, that's right. Only voice like yours around these parts. Never mind the compliments. Did you get my old car fixed? Yeah, you can come down and get it any time you want. Yeah, I'll be right down and get it. So long. Car ready? Yep. I'm going down to the garage and get it. Maybe you better call the telephone company and tell them to fix that ornery contraption. Uh, Eddie did a pretty good job on the old bus. She ran right along. Now, that's a fine question for you to be asking me. You're the one that's just broken the law. Me? I broke the law? Now, just a minute. What kind of a cop are you turning out to be? Accusing people of breaking the law when you know they haven't. Haven't you got anything better to do? You mean to tell me with a straight face that you didn't run that stop sign back there? (laughs) What stop sign back where? Right there back at the corner. And you did it with me right behind you. Maybe you think friendship blinds me eyes, but I'll tell you that I'll arrest me own mother if she broke the law. Now, let's see your driver's license. All right, all right, just a minute. Well, <laughs> come on. What's taking you so long? Would you be printing a new driver's license because you haven't got one? And I've got one, and you know it. Here, look through my wallet. You'll find it. Well, take the money out first. Uh, okay. You sure can be a hard man, O'Rourke. Uh, here. Wait a minute, Stompy Jenkins. Do you mean to tell me you can't find your driver's license? And I can see it from here without even touching your wallet. Huh? You can? <laughs> what do you know? It is there, sticking right out on the top. Okay, Patrick, uh, write the ticket. Oh, never mind. Huh? What do you mean? Forget it? Don't you understand English? Sure, I understand English. Now write the ticket. Uh, Cut the blarney and move over. I'm driving you wherever you're going. I said write the ticket. You don't have to be kind to me. I did wrong, so make out the ticket. I'll pay the fine. Are you going to move over in the seat, or do I have to make you move? All right, all right, I'm doing it. Just because I'm so curious as what you're up to. Follow us, Mike. I'm driving Stumpy's car. Well... Where to? Ranger headquarters. Aye, and that's where we'll be heading. What are you up to anyway, O'Rourke? Uh, I'm certain that you're going blind, old timer. What? Why, you're crazy as a loon, old friend. Well, let's find out. (laughs) What's there to find out? Whether I'm crazy as a loon or you're going blind. Thanks for bringing him to the office, Pat. Oh, that's all right, Bill. I was glad to do it. I ain't going to know why, Doctor. He needs to go to a head doctor for a roof job. <laughs> Where'd you get that one? Never you mind. And I ain't going, that's for certain. Well, I guess I'll have to write that ticket after all. Ah, you too easy, Pat. Anyone who runs a stop sign should go to jail. You agree, Bill? I sure do. You're all looking me. I don't need 20-20 vision to see that. Not a friend left in the world. That's what they all say when they're cornered. Mind you, your old grizzly bear, you get those eyes checked, or else. Well, I've got to get back to me job. Mike's waiting outside in the squad car. Well, Bill, don't uh, 
just stand there and look so disturbed. Chew me out. Let's go see the doctor, Stumpy, and not one bit of lip out of your. I'll suspend you from the service. Failing in your sight, Stump Ham. Oh, a couple of months, I reckon, Doc. Uh, uh, that is uh, where it's been real bad. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, that's all for now, old timer. Um, well, you fix me up real good. I can't see anything at all. <laughs> well, that's only temporary because of the drops I put in your eyes to relax the muscles. <laughs> Bill, see that you get home safely. A fine kettle of fish this is. Who wants a blind old man around to lead like a puppy on a leash? Don't pay any attention to him, Doc. <laughs> I'm not. You get used to this sort of thing after you've been in this game as long as I have. Well, what's the verdict, Doc? I'm going blind as a bat. What haven't you noticed? Nobody said you were, Stumpy. You have cataracts nearly covering each eye. I'll remove them and you'll have almost perfect sight again. With glasses. Remove the cataracts? How? Surgery. Surgery? Oh, no, you don't. Nobody touches my eyes. You don't have to make a decision now. Think it over. You'd be surprised how many people have cataracts removed. The operation is delicate, but... Successful. I don't care what other people have done. Just because they're crazy don't mean I am too. I'll go blind first. Chumpin' catfish, you don't think Stumpy really meant it when he said he'd rather be blind, do you, Bill? No, I don't really think so, pal. The doctor's verdict was a shock to him, as it would be to most folks. Ah, but right. You see things different in a few days. Mm -hmm. Oh, I sure hope so. I can't believe he'd be serious about going blind if he knew he had a good chance to regain almost normal sight. Oh, I feel sorry for old-timer. Yeah, so do I, but don't let him know it. Although there's one thing I'm very disturbed about. Oh, he drive car. We're not able to see very well. Yeah. Could have been very serious. Suppose he killed someone. Yeah. <laughs> the lorcher must have put Pat right behind Stumpy's car so he'd see the old-timer drive through the stop sign. You're right there, Henry. I'm surprised at Stumpy for doing that. We're going to have a long talk about it. Were you serious about suspending him from the service if he didn't get medical help? What would you do if you were in my shoes, pal? Yeah, I see your point. Well, then you must have been suspicious. Sure I was. Remember when his horse lagged behind the other day on the trail? Yeah, I wonder about that. Horse, he ride, not loafer. Exactly. He was trying to watch out for low branches. That's why he got knocked off his horse when he speeded up. Oh, sure. Stumpy was trying to cover up. Say, that fit in with trouble he had to dial phone the other day. I call repairman, he say phone okay. Stumpy have a hard time to see he dial face. And he blamed it on a bad phone? Not right. And those are the things that disturb me, fellas. He was trying to cover up. That's the same thing as lying and being deceitful. And for a mature Christian and an experienced ranger, well, it just doesn't add up. But he was only trying to keep others from noticing it. Was he, pal? Well, what do you mean? Sure he was. Perhaps. Or was he doing the worst thing he could possibly do? Well, I don't understand. He was lying to himself, trying to fool himself and convince himself that he wasn't losing his sight. That's the worst thing a man can do to himself and to the Lord. Remember what Jesus said to his disciples when they were in the boat and the storm hit the Sea of Galilee? You mean where Peter woke the Lord out of a sound sleep and, and told him about the storm and feared they'd all drown? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't recall the exact words, but the Lord questioned them on their faith. His exact words to the disciples were, How is it that you have no faith? Blackie, 
We'll show them fellers they can't horse me around. Easy, boy. There, there, there we are. <coughs> oh, oh, easy, buggy. Good days to go, huh? Well, so have I. Tell me I'm going blind, eh? All right, now, let's get out of here, Blackie! Come on, pal. We're a little late this morning. Uh, I'll drop you off at school. Okay. I'll be right there. Now I'll get it. Hello, Jefferson residence. Huh? Blackie's gone? Okay, Gray Wolf. We're leaving right now. Goodbye. What's with Blackie? Blackie's not in the stable, and neither is Stumpy's saddle or his gear. Uh oh. Uh oh, is right. Come on, shake a leg. Boy, there sure doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the old boy's sight this morning. Ah, uh, you speak truth there. Okay, oh, 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 boy. Oh, <laughs> boy. That old fox is sure covering his trail to perfection. If it's hard to follow now, what'll it be when we get up in the high country and on hard ground? Yeah, that's the whole point. We just waste our time. Let's go back to the office, fellas. Yeah, but... It'll be all right, pal. We'll just have to wait until he gets over the shock of his eye condition. But what if he gets himself into a jam? That's the chance we'll have to take. The way Stumpy's covering his trail tells us he definitely doesn't want company. With you. I'm awful sorry, Bill. I... Barney, what wrong? You, you're I'm... sick. What's the matter, young fella? It's my paw, Bill. His rattler bit. Rattler bit? Uh, you need the doctor, not us, lad. No, no, the doc ain't to home, Bill. I, I come here. I, I don't, I don't feel so good. It's Pa, though. He, he he's terrible rattler. Hey, huh, I got him. Henry, get the big first aid kit and lash it to my saddle. I'll carry Barney into the office. You can bring him around. Grey Wolf, you try and find the doc or get an intern at the hospital. I'll ride Storm and head across country. Storm can make it faster than a car by using the shortcut. All right, let's get with it. Won't be long now, Blackie, and I'll have your lame who fix good and new. This is Nate's place. He's got blacksmith equipment. Stumpy! Stumpy! Oh, thank the Lord you've come along! Oh, Blackie! Sally girl, what's ailing you? It's Pa. He's rattler bit. Rattler bit? Oh, where is he? In the house. Let me get off here. Come on, girl. Horn toad, Sally, your pa's in bad shape. I know it, but we didn't find him for a while. Barton's gone to get the doctor. I'll make a tourniquet of his belt. Now stop your crying and do what I say. All right. Wrap it around there. You see, Barney's gone for the doc. Here, I'm going to hold her. Yes, he left a little while ago. Well, that's good. Now you find some razor blades while I run out to my horse and get the snake bite kit. Get some water to cook it on the stove and some clean cloth for bandages. Now hurry up now. We can't leave that tourniquet on too long. Oh, there, Blackie, easy there. You'll have to take care of your lame hoof later. Uh, here it is. Ow, ow, ow. Stumpy, are you hurt? Never mind me. I just didn't see that 
stool. Come on, girl, get a hustle on. Here's the razor blades. New ones. Uh, that's fine. Now we get this wrapper over here. Ow, ow. Stop it! You oh, cut yourself! Oh, oh, I sure did, Sally girl. Here, here you peel the wrapper off this blade while I wrap up my finger. Guess my eyesight just, just ain't what it used to be. Here's the blade. Uh, just a second. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna open up your pa's leg. You'll hurt him more. Uh, maybe so. We gotta get that poison blood out pronto. You uh, turn your head while I cut the fang marks deep. All right. Here we are. Okay, now, now, hand me that box with the suction cup in it. What box? That one right there on the table. What's the matter, are you blind? Say a snake bite kid running outside of it. You must be the one who's blind, Stumpy. That box says saddle soap. Blackie, when this is over, I'm going to let you kick me right in the head. Maybe that'll put some sense into it. Like the Lord gave me to use. Where is it? Yeah, here it is. Yeah, better look to make sure. Yep. Yep, this is it, all right. big boy. You're good and warmed up now. Give it all you got. Come on, Storm. Faster, boy. Faster. Man's life depends on us getting there as soon as we can. Come on. Chicken to right, we make. Yeah. Uh, that's not news. I figured that some time back. Rattler bite plenty bad, especially where Nate is. Big diamondback rattlesnake. Carry big load of poison. I did. All right. 
Now turn the bottle upside down. And fill the syringe? Yep. It's filled. Now give it to me. And hold that light close so I can see if there's any air bubbles. Can you see it now? Let me see. Yep. I don't see any bubbles. Do you? No. (laughs) Don't tell me I see it right for a change. Will that anti-venom shot make Pa well? I sure hope so, Sally girl. I sure hope so. Let's say it'll give him more of a fighting chance than he had. How's Nate, Doc? Ah, uh, you'll make it, Bill. Yeah, that was really a close one. Yeah, sure was. I'm real pleased to hear the good news. Well, Stumpy saved his life. <laughs> Maybe so, but almost killed him, too. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Well, look at me. Cut finger on his hand, two burn fingers on the other, banged up toe and mm. shin bone. And all this happened because I can't see so good. Well, if that girl hadn't been here to see for me in the tight places... Nate would have died. Uh, wouldn't he, Doc? Well? Yes, yes, you're right. Sally told me about what happened. Not to tattle, but to help. I sure ain't proud of myself. I can tell you that much. The Lord must be real disturbed with me. Well, I don't understand. Why... Pretty simple, Doc. I'm supposed to be a mature Christian. And yet I'm all shook up about having eye surgery. Well, that is, I was all shook up. <laughs> I come to a crisis in my life and I fall flat on my face. Well, let's get the eye operation done as soon as you can, Doc. And, uh, Bill, I've got something to say to you, too. All right, go ahead, old friend. The next time I come face to face with a crisis, I won't embarrass you or the Lord. I'll act like a grown-up Christian. Yes, I believe the old-timer will do just that. And when you come face-to-face with a crisis, you be sure you act like a grown-up Christian, too. See you next week for more adventure with... Ranger Bill comes to you transcribed from the Moody Bible Institute in Chicago.